جی بسم اللہ رحمان رحیم میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان وی آر آن آ جرنی ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ کارپوریٹ گورننس فرام این انٹرنیشنل پرسپیکٹو ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا ورلڈ بینک اینڈ کارپوریٹ گورننس ناؤ اگین لیڈیز جینڈ واٹ وی آر سینگ ان دا پاسٹ سیشنز از از دیٹ وی ہیو اسٹیک ہولڈرز اینڈ دین وی ہیو ڈفرینٹ ٹائپ آف اسٹیک ہولڈرز ہو ہیو اے ویری ویریبل ریلیشن شپ ود دی انٹرنل اسٹیک ہولڈرز اینڈ ان دی انٹرنل اسٹیک ہولڈرز وی ہیو دا شیئر ہولڈرز وی ہیو دا بورڈ we have the top management the middle management uh, the shop floor management and also our other employees uh, which are working in a particular organization now again uh, from country to country we see that there are uh, different uh, variances and there are different nuances but more so there are certain international organizations which play a very very definitive and very important role and one of them is the world bank and again uh, it's foray into the arena of corporate governance now when we are looking uh, at the world bank and the world bank report on corporate governance it recognizes the complexity of the very concept of corporate governance and focuses on the principles on which it is based so again the world bank endorses corporate governance and its different principles and also looks at them uh, in this particular context that they are the principles of transparency of accountability of fairness responsibility and their universal application so what we see ladies and gentlemen is is that these four fundamental guiding principles are the very core the very essence the very ethos of corporate governance now when we look at transparency then that transparency basically is achieved through dissemination of correct and truthful information secondly we see accountability whereby again there is cross accountability and it can be both internal and external and this has to be done with fairness and visible fairness with a sense of responsibility so these four core principles form the essence of corporate governance and the intrusion of the world bank into the arena of uh, the corporate governance now the stronger the partnership between the public and private sectors the more soundly based will be their corporate governance and then equally the report also emphasizes that governors initiatives must garner support when driven from the bottom up rather than from the top down so again the world bank is looking at this relationship that it should not be a top down relationship actually it should be a bottom up relationship so that all of the segments and all of the stakeholders within the organization can perform in a better way and can also share their experiences voice their concerns and look at merit transparency accountability and a better work environment which is conducive for everyone so again uh, when we look at the adoption of the report's proposals it offers enterprises everywhere the chance to gain their share of potentially available funds for investment so again the world bank being one of the most powerful financiers at a global level is also looking at the aspects of how the the funds can be trickled down to the lowest tier and therefore uh, make them uh, potentially uh, investment conducive and also the fact that uh, everyone gets a chance to gain those resources to conduct their own businesses the balance between economic and social goals and between individual and communal go uh, goals the efficient use of resources and to require accountability for the stewardship of these resources so just like we've been talking about previously the world bank is also concerned about transparency about accountability and about having a conducive environment now this tripartite relationship actually enables the organization to function in a better way to create a strong bond of trust internally and externally and then most importantly also ensure that the uh, sustainability of the organization is maintained and ensured from a more holistic point of view so again the internationally accepted governance standards is that uh, will help them to achieve their corporate aims and to attract investment so as a result of all of that and that proper structure proper manualization what happens is is that direct foreign investment tends to increase and that basically means that the industry can start working in a better way thereby creating jobs for the youth and also for those individuals who are looking for opportunities to basically grow so all of this uh, becomes extremely important the incentive adoption of uh, the principles by states is that they will strengthen their economies and discourage fraud and management management openness is the basis of public confidence in the corporate system so again 
giving a voice, having a voice, negating voicelessness, and most importantly, ensuring that uh, we have this openness whereby uh, we can make it result in public confidence in the corporate system. So, that is extremely important, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Then funds will flow to those centers of economic activity which inspire trust. The World Bank report points the way to the establishment of trust and the encouragement of the enterprise. So, uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, what we see is, is that all of this revolves around the, the very postulation of trust and encouraging small uh, and medium enterprises to do business in a better way rather than having a cloistered approach which can be suffocating and can lead to the collapse of the economic system. So, again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is very important that the World Bank plays a major role and through its role, it ensures that uh, there is more dissemination of awareness and there is more dissemination of loans to the needy, the destitute, the marginalized, the underprivileged and the unemployed. And that is the most important thing uh, which organizations have to do to ensure that they practice good governance and corporate governance together. Thank you so much.